Hi guys. Well, I'm pretty much just jumping right into it. Over the last week, I got my Jeep repaired and back on the road. Here are the symptoms. There was a loud clunking noise every time I drove anywhere in it, and there was transmission fluid gushing out near my transmission. Based on that, and knowing that I have an automatic transmission, you'd probably be led to believe that it was the transmission, uh, which of course everyone knows is an expensive repair. It turns out that I got great news back from my uh, mechanic. It was not the transmission that had failed. Rust had eaten away one of the transmission cooling lines, and uh, that's why it was gushing transmission fluid. Also, my, both of my wheel bearings were shot, and that's why I had the loud clunking noise every time I drove around. So I have for a show and tell here really quick. This is what a wheel bearing looks like that needs to be replaced. Note how there's a slight wobble. I think you can kind of see that. Makes a, makes a little bit of noise when it's spinning. Probably can't quite hear that. So that's what a, trans that's what a wheel bearing looks like that needs to be replaced. And this, this is what my wheel bearing looks like. Part of it just fell off. That's what that was. Um, you can see in there I'm missing a few of the balls for the ball bearing. can actually pick one more of them out right here. Nice little rabbit turd looking ball bearing. Now I'm all greasy. Ew, I need a rag. So as you can see, that wheel bearing clearly needed to be replaced. Um, you can probably imagine driving on that was pretty scary. <laughs> I don't usually feel a lot of sympathy for people who I see in pain, but when I was driving my Jeep and it was making these awful noises and it was slowing down at random on flat ground because of how much friction was being generated by that bearing and just the horrible crunching, grinding, squealing noises being generated by it. I almost cried. So, yeah, this thing got on my keyboard. God, it was nice to see you drinking that classy scotch. I like the idea, though, of drinking during posts. I think that should be not a rule, but it should be encouraged. What video game do I think is my favorite and that I would never get bored playing? These are actually two separate games. My favorite video game, as I've ever played so far, has been basically the Half-Life series. If I had to pick one, I would say Half-Life 2. It had a lot of great moments. There was just really good character play in all of the all the people that you meet. And of course it had the greatest gun of all time, the gravity gun. The game that I will never get be able to get bored playing, I believe would have to be Super Mario 64. I have played that game start to finish probably five times now. And when I say finish, I don't just mean beating Bowser for the third and final time in the game. I mean collecting 120 stars, going up on the roof, saying hi to Yoshi, and getting all my super extra lives. Oh, MrAverage.com. I think I've seen that data before, actually, for when I looked it up on Wikipedia. I was curious. I wanted to validate myself, you know. Definitely a good website to visit. Let's you know where you stand. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with where I stand. God seems to be very happy with where he stands. Not surprised. I liked God's answer to uh, if you were about to be struck by a moving vehicle rolling over the hood. What I would like to do is to roll, to do basically what God said. Jump up on top of it. Probably, you know, try to run on it, but I can picture myself running and then kind of not being able to keep up and sliding across the car and grab onto something. 
Like, if it's got one of the spoilers on the back, grab onto the spoiler. And uh, from there, I probably wouldn't be able to do much of anything. I, I guess that... Uh, I guess Pocahontas has proved that it is not too difficult to punch through a window. <laughs> so that's what I would try to do. Now, after I've broken through the window, I probably wouldn't do anything. I would probably just, you know, hop off and let them be terrified. I think that that's about what Pocahontas actually did. I don't know if I should really allude to that, but I think that's about what actually happened. Yeah, that's basically what I would do in that situation. That's answering my own question there. Changing the subject here. There were Super Bowl commercials that were banned because they were too offensive or too gay, was basically the reasoning. Um, what I'm talking about is the Super Bowl commercial for ManCrunch.com. I think it was a very good commercial. It was very gay, but, you know, that's the audience it was trying to target, obviously. And ManCrunch.com is, is, of course, a... Uh, website for homosexual dating, gay guys, you know, getting together. And I think that's a very legitimate premise for a website. So I see no reason why it shouldn't be advertised for. And the commercial, while being pretty gay, was done very classily. I'm going to try, I'm going to see if I can get a, uh, a link to it. The link is going to be in the description, which is over there question I'm going to leave you with is uh, regarding the death penalty. What do you think about the laws regarding the death penalty? Do you think we should have it or not? And um, how do you think it should be administered? If you could change the way that it's currently administered, what would you do? Oh yeah! <laughs> New rule for me. This is a one-time thing. By the end of the month of February, I have to be interviewing for a better job. I've gotten so sick of working at working at Staples for various reasons. I'm not going to get into that here. I've got options for different jobs, specifically. I'd like to apply for a job at CompuWorks. I've been working on my resume, and what I'm making as a rule here is that by the end of the month of February, I have to be interviewing for a job either with CompuWorks or with someone else. Otherwise, I should be punched. I challenge you guys to come up with something classy and entertaining and YouTube appropriate that I will really not want to do. And I'd like you guys to come up with this in the next week so that I know what I have to fear if I don't get the job or if I don't interview for the job. Well, with that, I'm going to conclude my post. Things are going pretty well for me. What? Oh, what did I spend my tax refund on? I almost forgot about that. What did I spend my tax refund on? I spent it on getting the Jeep fixed. I got... I got these guys replaced. <laughs> well worth the $500, too. Along with the transmission cord lines. And with that, I'm definitely going to conclude my post. See you guys around. In the doobly-doo. <laughs> in the side... The link should be in the sidebar. The link should be in the sidebar, because I'm not sure which side the sidebar is on, so I did. Yeah. The link is going to be in the sidebar, in case you're looking for it.